Hi, and welcome to Manifestation Mastery, where I will teach you how to master and to manifest abundance in every area of your life. My name is PK Ennis, and I am your, your teacher. We will discuss many different walks of life because there are many different things that um, different people, depending on where you are, are dealing with. So whether it's success in your relationships, whether it's success in your career choices, whether there are things that you have not just been able to overcome in a very long time and you cannot figure out why, or whether it's just simple manifestation of your finances, you need more money, you need vision, you need clarity. Well, we're going to discuss all of those things and I'm going to give you tools that will help you get on that path to success. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the topic is, can a Christian be possessed by a demonic entity? Or can Christians be demon possessed? Or can people who are very spiritual be demon possessed? And the maybe this is a shocking answer, but the answer is absolutely. And you may wonder, so how is that happening? How is it happening that if a person has God in them and a person has Christ in them uh, and a person is, you know, a very uh, spiritually um, in tuned and, and religious person, how can a demonic entity uh, live within them? And the answer to that is, we are made of the soul and the spirit and the body. So humankind has a soul, a spirit, and the body. And your spirit, once your spirit has been given over to God, or your spirit has been given over to Christ as a, as a Christian, once that happens, then no, a demon cannot possess your spirit. However, your body and your soul man getting in your mind, uh, demonic entities can and do that. And the enemy of the soul and the enemy of um, Christians, which is the devil, some call, or darkness, does not want people to know that, does not want people to realize that that demonic possession and demonic entities can um, not just come upon them, because a lot of people like to say, yes, they can come upon you. But no, it's not just come upon you, they can actually enter the soul or the body of a person who is a Christian. Now, for those who watch my um, different videos or take my training or my sessions on manifestation and on um, how to manifest the things in your life that you desire, then you are probably wondering what does demonic possession or having demonic entities in your life, in your being have to do with manifesting or having success in life. And I am here to tell you that it has everything to do with manifestation and having success in your life. So many times people are attempting to manifest certain things. And I work with a lot of people on manifesting and uh, bringing about those things in their life that they truly, truly, truly desire. You know, we use the term manifestation, but really it's about 
prayer and focus on things that you really desire. And I work with a lot of people and have helped a lot of people bring about everything from finances, from hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, business, you know, becoming millionaires in their business. If we're talking about finances from, um, you know, healing their body, healing their mind, healing their emotional state and uh, finding and maintaining good, healthy, you know, relationships. Um, So I've seen the process and I understand the process, but sometimes, you know, there are people who no matter what they do, no matter how they learn the predictable method to manifest. And again, we're using manifest just as a popular term, but it's really about focus and prayer, uh, deep prayer and petitioning for those things that you desire that are already there for you that God has already laid out for you. And it's just teaching you how to walk into those things. But there are people that no matter how they learn that predictable path or that predictable process, they still have trouble manifesting or bringing those things into their reality. It still doesn't come easy for some of those people. And why is that? Why is that? Why is it that you a person, you follow all the the rules, you've seen all the videos from the different teachers, the different spiritual teachers such as myself, because there are many people who teach these methodologies, um, but nothing is happening for you. Nothing is manifesting for you. Well, that means that one or two things, either one the limited beliefs, the spiritual beliefs about yourself, about your, um, your, your worth, about your self value, about what uh, you deserve is stronger than the things that you want. You, you have not changed those doubts and those limiting beliefs about yourself. That's one reason. But, you know, I work with people to help them change that. So let's say you have changed that, but you're still not able to bring about change in a great way. Mean change in a way that, you know, is life uh, changing things that you never thought in a million years you would be able to accomplish. This is the type of manifestation that I'm talking about. And no matter what you do, you're still not able to do that. That's generally because there is a spiritual entity of darkness that has attached itself to your life and is blocking your success. A dark spiritual entity has attached itself to your life and is blocking your success. And it needs to be removed. It needs to be put out of you. But before it can be removed and before it can be put out of you, You have to believe it exists. You have to recognize that it's there and you have to call it what it is. So can a Christian, a spiritual person be possessed by a demonic entity? That answer is absolutely. 